How do? I'm Mark Horbally. Uh, Sparky, they call me. I uh, got that nickname as a young lad when I was nine or ten years of age. And, and where were you born? Uh, Murview, Galway. Well, tell us actually what it was like uh, growing up uh, in, in the family home. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It was, it was a bit of poverty in it. You know, there was a lot of drinking going on. You know, well, every home was really, wasn't it? You know, but like we've seen a lot. It was messy, kind of. It was hard. Yeah, I have one brother, three sisters. Yeah. And what, what school did you go to? Uh, Murview, Murview Primary School at Monegisha, then after that for a couple of years. I, d I didn't do too long in school, you know. Kind of rebelled against school. How has Galway changed from when you were a young fella? Oh, Galway was electric back in the 80s. A lot of crusties in the town. There were good summers. There was a lot of street buskers, a lot of winos up in the square. You know, it, there was always entertainment. It was good, and you were safe. You were safe. That's an interesting one. Yeah. What, what do you mean by yeah, there was no knives, there was no bottles. You know, if a fight broke out, it'd be a fist fight. You know, there was, there was, you, like, you wouldn't be looking over your shoulder, you wouldn't be, you know what I mean? You were safe in Galway. You wouldn't be afraid People would look out for you. What have you worked at throughout your life? Yeah, well, I started at 11 years of age working. I worked uh, in the Army Navy stores at 10 or 11 years of age until I was about 15, holding a sign outside. 125 an hour, three, two hours on a Friday, three hours on a Saturday. I was pulling about a tenner at the weekend. <laughs> and I give the mother half the money. <laughs> so you were a grafter from a kid like, yeah. What would be your sort of favorite passion or hobby? Oh, my hobby, it'd have to be motorbikes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us a bit Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got into the bikes at 15 or 16. You know, and um, I was working then after that, say, in the Great Southern Kitchen Porter for three years. You know, and, uh, well, drank the money and bought a bike, crashed the bike. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the lads, a uh, few of the boys up around Dar Street, we grew up on bikes. They kind of got me into it, you know, into that scene. Can you remember the last time you were really happy? Uh, well, hand on heart was when my daughter was born. That was one of the best times of my life. Yeah. Yeah, when Saoirse was born. Who was that? 12 years ago in early Charlene, was it? <laughs> That's when, yeah, I was really happy at that time. Uh, one of my fondest memories would have been one of my first girlfriends. It was hard to do, but I asked her out. And that, that was a brilliant memory, you know? Yeah, yeah. Do you have any regrets in life? Yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. Like, the road I went down, you don't want to say teenager or a young lad, like, I went down a rocky road with drinking drugs, you know, and just bringing shame on the family. So I kind of regret that, you know? That's me, for your honesty, man. I'm the same yeah. as you know, yourself. I'm like, just my heart was going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're doing amazing, man. Um, and lastly, if you could give one bit of advice to your much younger self, one bit of advice to, to a smaller uh, Mark, what would that be? Just say no to drinking drugs, you know what I mean? Yeah. 